is constantly in the headlines and many of us are still trying to wrap our minds around it. Artificial intelligence or AI technology. Right now on the campus of San Diego State University, there is a brand new James Silberad Brown Center for AI. Well, the director is joining us right here on the floor, Aaron Elkins. First of all, Aaron, welcome to the floor. Glad you're here. Thank you very much. Let's just jump right in. What is the center on the campus of San Diego State University? What's going on in there? Yeah, so the center is essentially, um, to give you a little history, might be helpful. We started as an AI lab in around 2016 when I joined. And the focus for a lab is research, you know, where we'll investigate AI applications. We work with the Navy, Homeland Security, we work on mental health issues, just a lot of that. Uh, but the Brown family, um, you know, gave us a donation most recently to support a, the establishment of a center. And so a center is like a laboratory, except we expand what we're trying to do. We're looking to improve and create new education programs around AI in the, in the college as well as the community, you know, like coming here and, and talking to San Diegans about this stuff. We're working on getting our jobs and, in, and kind of in partnering with, with the uh, private sector to sort of shape what AI sure. is in the future. And of course, research. But the most important thing, you know, how does, is the students. And the center is meant to provide facilities, equipment, all the state-of-the-art stuff that our students in San Diego need to start getting, uh, you know, taking part in this AI research. So we talk about AI right here on our show a lot, especially chat GPT and yeah. uh, what that exactly is and how students could potentially cheat by having it write you an essay. Elon Musk came out recently and said, hey, let's give this a six-month pause yeah. and before we really dive into this because he had some concerns. So what is he so concerned about? And then what's the bright side to this? So why don't we start with the concerns? S certainly, you know, I think this is not much different than any other concern of unintended consequences. Just we're as likely to have an outcome with AI that is utopia as we are dystopia. So I, I imagine Elon watched a lot of Terminator and he <laughs> thinks of this negatively. Yeah. And there's reasonable concerns, but I don't think we can foretell them. Um, we have a lot to learn about the technology. So it's impressive technology, but well, not dangerous. I, you know, at the center, we really think of it as a force of good. Mm -hmm. It's trying to help mental health problems. How is that, how try, let's just jump right into sure. that particular topic. How is this going to help mental health problems? You know, so the same technology that is used in chat GPT, which is focused on language, a lot of that it's like a tr this idea of a, a transformer model. You take input and you translate the output. Well, that technology is also useful for mental health, like measuring behaviors, me under looking at patients, helping us understand their states using objective sensors. Mm. So it can support. We also, you know, have a robot that is really smart and can converse using kind of that technology. This is your mascot, I understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she is. And uh, we like to take the robot maybe to a hospital and interact with the children and have it, you know, do work, you know, as a force for positivity, you know, th th which is AI is capable of just as much as evil. It's a fascinating topic, and I know we're flat out of time here, but what is one thing that the students are looking into right now that could be beneficial in the future? Uh, the focus in our center a lot is, if you think about ChatGPT as a language part of your brain, mm -hmm. we're looking at the emotion side of the brain. So we're really looking at how we can use these technologies to understand if people are happy or sick or sad or even lying in some instances, trying to understand person-to-person -person interactions, emotion recognition, maybe artificial emotional intelligence. This is fascinating stuff. Can't wait to see what happens. Aaron Elkins, please don't be a stranger right here on our show because we'd like to continue to follow this topic as AI is uh, just exploding right now and it's really interesting to watch. Thank you so much for coming on in.